That's a nice one. And remember this day for the rest of our lives. Good morning everybody and welcome to day 2 in Siberia, Pike Tour 2019. Now some of you might say that I look a bit tired here and I don't blame you at all. But there's a reason for everything in this world. This tenting nice could be pretty nice if it wasn't that I was neighbor with Anton Fisherman. He snores louder than a bear. Today we have pretty damn big waves and with these boats that we have been given it's not really safe at all to be out on the water. So we're gonna wait a few hours, we're gonna have a good time in the mother tent where, uh, where we eat all the time. And then we're gonna wait a few hours and see what happens if we maybe can go out then. Should we do a tour on the camping ground here? Yeah, we can do that. So here is our tent where we live with Mille and two other guys. We have about 1 meter and 20 centimeter. Yeah, but it's enough. It's, it's a little cozy in there. Okay, let's, let's go further. Here is our dining room. This is the jerkbait king of Russia. I saw yesterday some... Uh, oh, this one. Beaverbait. Uh, made of American. Wow. Beaverbait. That's big. Okay, let's continue. Here we have one more tent where uh, the rest of the group sleeps. It's actually the same as ours. Yeah. And uh, over there it's a tent of... Uh, our locals, uh, the two guys who brought us here, who own the boats. Здравствуйте. Привет. Привет. So, it's self self-made heating machine, and they can cook here, and they have warm air here, and they can live here with lots of comfort. Yeah. Спасибо for the tour. Привет, Mister. Slava, actually, he's a real Siberian. Yeah, I heard that this guy is good at wrestling with bears. Oh yeah, and he's gonna show you his uh, his uh, talisman. <laughs> Check real bear teeth. Like they are so big, like compared to your fingers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he wears that only when he go fishing. It's like uh, gives him some, you know, power and some feeling. Yeah. We just have to show them that in the background here. Ding, 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 ding. So, so on the other side of the, of the river, there's some guys that's having a good time. Oh yeah, they have a really big and nice lodge there, but it's like a governmental Russian place. So if you're like in a big boss in government or in KGB or somewhere, then you can go there with helicopter and have a good time with good food, with <laughs> lots of nice stuff. But as for me here, it's better. Yeah, we have, a, we have a better time yeah, yeah, than yeah, you yeah. back there. Brand new upcoming model in 2020, the new BFT Big Fish Net. Oof, that will never <laughs> Russian, break. Russian edition that will never break, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is the boat that we're living in, more or less. We have a casting deck, just like the North Silver. It's really when you don't have a Minn Kota that you know how much you, you love the Minn Kota. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is the greatest invention of all mankind. This is a Danish invention and I just have to give them some cred because damn these guys are smart. This is like a coffee maker. See you have this coffee powder here and here we have some boiling water. Then you fill it up as much as you want. Ding a ding. And when 10 minutes have gone by, it's all clear to drink. Then you take this liquid gold here. Like this, this is uh, sweet condensed milk. And then you take a bunch of this. It's like a yeah, sweet condensed milk, but it tastes sort of like a white chocolate emulsion in some strange way. 
Anyway, we decided as the only boat that day to head out in well above 60 km per hour winds and with a small boat with a small anchor. Anton got the first fish after about 3 minutes and to say the least we were shocked about what that fish had for breakfast. But it sort of gives you an idea about this pike. We have already tried fishing with mice imitations before but we were sad that we forgot our bird imitations at home. These fish are absolutely insane. Anton released that pike and a short while after that I had a heavy take over 50 centimeters of water. The audio is a bit off as you can hear, but bear with me. And these fish are so strong you can't believe it. Okay, I'm gonna try to net this fish. to go out and fish. Yeah. All the way down there. This is my biggest fish ever on Flatnose Dragon. The perfect lure. You know, for these shallow places when you rig it the right way, it goes just in 10 centimeters of water. And that was enough for this mama. It's we weighted it pretty quickly in the in the net and it's around 10.5 with the net so 9 9 kilo. Look at this fish, man. Ooh. Look at this fish. This is unbelievable. They're so compact because the, oh, the only thing they eat here is white fish and birds. This is my second biggest fish of the Siberia trip. And now it's time for this baby to go back to where she belongs. I hope you guys can see how shallow it is. And she was coming just five meters from the boat taking the bait. Yeah. But what we do now, we're gonna cast in front of the wind because it's no way for us to cast with the wind because we're stuck in bushes and it's super shallow over here. So we're just making like 15 meters cast in front of the wind and let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to cast that one, Miuras. Yeah, Truman, Truman told me that Miuras is like made for this kind of conditions. Oh yeah, but I think it's made to cast in with the wind, not in front of the wind. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, but for, for, yeah. For, the, for the fishing, you know, you can feel yeah, it all yeah. the time. Yeah, of course, it's for windy conditions and Mille gonna try a uh, flat, -nose, flat -nose, dragon. nose dragon from yeah. Canal Gratis. So let's see what happens. Sun is shining, wind is blowing, bikes are feeding, hopefully. Oof. So in regular manners, it only took Anton a few minutes to hook into about 6 kilos of pike. He released the pike and the very same thing happened the cast after. That's not a giant, but that's a nice one. About 12 kilos of pike in two casts, not too bad, right? We had to seek shelter from the wind because we don't want to think about the potential outcome of a man overboard in these conditions. We took shelter in a bay which we early on decided to call Eagle's Nest for quite obvious reasons. Anton switched from Muras to a wolf tail after with a nettle juvenile as a tail and after a few small fish, Anton got a better bite. Okay, I'm ready! Oh! No! Oh. No! Oh. There we go, my dude! Woohoo! Yes! I saw in the Miller's box a nettle juvenile, uh, juvenile, a small new lure from Canal Gratis, and I just decided that I'm gonna use it like a new tail for my strike crow wolf tail. So I cut the head and put the tail here and make some few casts, and boom! Yeah, it's one, yeah. It's 118, yeah. 118, yeah. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> This is why we travel to Russia.
Siberia! Yes! Woo! Two days, two 10 kilo fish. <laughs> oh, the struggles we did today to get to this fish and out to this place today. And one more struggle still, we have to come back home. We actually. have to come back home and that's gonna be one hell of a ride. But boy, we have had, I, I'm, I'm lost for words even more today. Well, 10.7, 9 point zero, nine, 9 point low, 7 kilo. By far the best pike fishing we both have ever had in our entire lives. Okay, how to catch a fish on shark shad in Mother Russia. Just whip it up there. This guy towards me! No! Sick of that! But the good thing is... Uh, if, if, if. In the in when now. No. <laughs> ah, no. Oh my goodness, man! This day has been, without a doubt, the most, the absolute sickest day in our entire pike fishing career. We got out at like three p.m. today because we were waiting out the wind but then the wind never stopped so we just went out and we have I have caught a 9 kilo you have caught 10.7 we have some 5 kilo we have some 6 kilo we have some 7 kilo now we're gonna make our lazy asses over to an island or to our island like four kilometers away then we're gonna have some meat porridge. Then we're gonna, gonna have a good night's sleep and remember this day for the rest of our lives. Anton, thank you so much. My big Belarusian bear. This day will forever be in our minds. Thank you so much for staying along with us on this episode. I hope you enjoyed to see how we are staying on our island. I hope you enjoyed to see some pike action. Have a good time with you folks back at home and we'll see you back next week for episode 3. And we have no idea where this will end up. Ciao. Ciao. Hello Mr. Peterson. I'm in a hospital in a snoring section and they will make the whole night research how I snore so hopefully next time your time with me in the tent will be sweeter for you. <laughs> now I'm gonna sleep the whole night with all this shit on me on my legs and everywhere. <laughs>